right, so we're going to talk about seven unconventional growth hacks to 10x your growth. But first, let's define what growth hacks are. Growth hacks are simply, sometimes you can call them marketing shortcuts or just little tactics that will help you get ahead um, to help 10x your growth. So growth hack number one is using a tool like Hype Fury. So Hype Fury, you can use a, a tool called Typefully. I almost got the two confused, but these are both Twitter tools. And the cool thing about Hype Fury is that if you tweet a thread, it will actually push it over to LinkedIn as well. And they'll actually make a carousel for you to put on Instagram. So instead of you having to do all the work manually, it'll help do it for you. And then also using a tool like Hype Fury, it'll give you ideas to help you overcome writer's block. So that's the first one. Number two, conferences are one of the best places to get business. We've already talked about speaking. We've talked about volunteering and attending and sponsoring. We figured out a hack over the years that's helped us produce the best return from conferences we've ever seen. Partner with a conference, whether it's you give them a little bit of money or you speak for free or uh, you help them promote the event. In exchange, they help you set up one-on-one -on -one meetings with the biggest companies uh, and players there. And it needs to be aligned, right? What value can you provide them? The one I also want to meet with you, they can't force the meeting. And if they set up three, four, five, six, we usually try to get eight meetings in within like two days. And uh, we close really large enterprise deals from that. It's one of the best growth hacks. Every time I fly to an event, we try to do that for every single conference. Oh, that's really smart. You didn't tell me that one. That's a good one. All right, number three. Number three is um, I'm going to do chat GPT plus Riverside. So for Riverside, that's our podcast, the podcast uh, product that we use to record. So it's super high quality videos, right? And there's a lot of you know bells and whistles. And one of the bells and whistles that comes with it is the transcription feature. So we'll automatically transcribe using AI. So we dump it into chat GPT and we say, hey, can you summarize, uh, can you make a blog post of the topics that we covered? And I'll basically make it into like a 500 or 600 word blog post. And then we'll send it to our editors. The editors will expand it a little bit. And then we'll add in links. We'll add in statistics, link inside, link outside as well. And, um, you know, and add, add some trends into the blog post and maybe some embeddings. It basically cuts our time to produce a blog post down by 75 to 80%. And so you can imagine that it saves us a lot on cost too. That is one way of going about it. Chat GPT plus Riverside.fm. Number four. So with LinkedIn, the best way to get engagement, and we'll talk about this a little bit in our next podcast, is to have other really popular accounts comment on your profile. What people are doing is they're going to playerup.com where you can buy LinkedIn accounts, look for verified accounts with over 500 plus connections. Anything less than that doesn't work. This is a little black hat -y. I wouldn't recommend it, but I'll just tell you guys it because some people want to know this stuff. I wouldn't do it if I was a big business or anything. Uh, we've never seen anyone get banned from it. We don't do it ourselves. But what you end up doing is you take those accounts whenever you post on your corporate page, you comment from those accounts and we typically see a really high crazy boost in virality for that post. And you can buy those accounts for really cheap. I think they go for like 50 to 100 bucks. So you buy like around like six or seven and that's really it. I think this is number five on my end. Number five is retention.com. So we've talked about this. This is kind of a little in the gray area right now. It's definitely black if it's in your, if you're outside of the United States because of GDPR. But what it basically does, especially if you're in um, e-commerce is um, it will kind of take the data, the, the visitors that you have from your website, it'll cross, cross reference it with the list that they have. Um, think about it this way. If your site is getting 100,000 visits a month, maybe your email opt-in is maybe 1%, 2% or so. Well, in this scenario, you can actually get you know 20 to 30%, right? Let's just say 20% or so. So 100,000 visits a month that are unique, well, then you're collecting 20,000 unique emails. This is okay in the United States right now because there's they don't have like uh, they're not as aggressive as as kind of the GDPR rules, but I believe that this will be closed in the next couple of years. So write this while you can, especially if you're in e-commerce. Yeah, and then if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see Eric has a ton of books behind him. Give away a free book. Eric's published a book as well. Make your book free, put it out everywhere, charge for shipping for people to get it. Ideally, you just want to cover your costs, get their information, Put them in a book funnel. You can find a lot of book funnels on uh, clickfunnels.com and then start selling them on other products, services, consulting. It's a great way. People don't want to pay for books, but the moment is free and they just have to pay for shipping. You'll end up generating quite a bit of sales. It's one of the easiest ways to get sales for a book. And you can end up uh, running Facebook ads to it. It's really affordable. People will end up doing it. Neil, let me just ask you this. 
when you do a webinar, right? Um, what is the flow? Like what page do they land on? Like, is it like, you know, they sign up for something and then what's the next page and what's the next page after that? From a webinar, we drive them to a landing page where you sell them on something. We haven't, we haven't done this in ages. This is if we're selling products. Currently we just collect leads and then our sales teams follow up. Cause remember well, we're focusing mainly on enterprise before when we sold eBooks from a webinar, we would drive them to a landing page. If they bought from that, then we just add in upsells and downsells. So then we'd show them a few more products after they buy. And they can just do one click upsells. Basically, it's this model, right? And this is more for, again, if you're selling like a product or a course, you sign up for the webinar. On the webinar thank you page, literally, it's get a free trial for click funnels. And literally, that changed the trajectory of their business. So they still had, after the webinar, it's like come buy this stuff. There's some cross sells, there's some down sells, and things like that. But on the thank you page, you just add a button to whatever it is that you're offering and um, just make sure that it's a, it's a really good offer. Um, you know, for, I think Russell Brunson calls it a MIFKI, which is uh, from Dan Kennedy. Um, a MIFKI stands for most incredible free gift ever. Um, and so that's what it is. If, and I don't know if it really took the business from 10 million a year to 100 million a year, but I think it's still interesting to check out. So that is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, check us out on YouTube, and we will see you later. Now, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to answer them and help you out. If you enjoy the video, like it, share it, tell people about it. Thank you very much.